Hi! In today's lesson, we are going to be talking about um, shape, center, and spread. So the first thing you're going to do is, um, and I haven't mentioned this before, but you really should be writing your last name and your first name on every set of notes. That's another way for me to verify that you are the one actually doing your work and you're not just taking pictures and borrowing it from a friend. So please make sure you write that on every page. Um, and then you're going to take a couple of minutes and um, write down the essential question. And I'm sorry, there's a lot of I can statements today. There's a lot of things we're going to learn how to do. Um, so fill them in here, fill them in, in the columns, fill them in wherever they fit. Okay, that way you can refer, you know, which parent set of notes to refer back to for the skills that you need to be learning today. So I'm going to read through those. So which measures of center and spread are appropriate for a normal distribution and which are appropriate for a skewed distribution? So we're going to talk about center and spread in their distributions today. And then our I can statements are I can understand the shape of the data can be skewed left, skewed right, or normal. I can use Desmos calculator to the to I can use Desmos to calculate that does not sound right. Calculate the mean, median, and interquartile range of the data. I can use a line plot to examine data. I can use a histogram to examine data, and I can use a box plot to do examine data. I am going to split the video into a number of segments, so that way it is um, not a whole lot at one time. Okay. I'm going to go ahead because I'm going to flip my computer here, and I'm going to get rid of the webcam, so you're just going to hear my voice. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, see the shape of the distribution. I'm just going to double check that we're on. Yep. Okay. Um, so raw data, I'm going to zoom just a little bit out. There we go. So raw data values are simply um, presented in an unorganized list. Organizing the data values by using the frequency with which they occur results in a distribution of the data. A distribution may be presented as a frequency table or as a data display. Data displays for numerical data such as line plots, histograms, and block, box plots involve a number line, while the data displays for categorical data such as bar graphs and circle graphs do not. Data displays reveal the shape of the distribution. So we're going to actually use some data displays today. So they gave us this giant table, okay? And they want us to make start by making a line plot for distribution of birth months. And line plot is also a dot plot, okay? So you can use dots, you can use little X's. I'm going to choose to use little X's. So we're looking at birth months. So I'm just going to go through. I've got one at five. I'm just going to check it off. I've got one at seven. 11, 2, 10, 3, 1, 4, 7 again, 6, uh, 9, 10, 11, 1, 6, 5, 8, 9, 12, and 2. So that's what they mean by a dot plot or a line plot. So what I'm going to have you do is actually you should go ahead and pause your video and try to make the line plots for B and for C, and then see if you can take a crack at answering the reflect questions. I'm going to pause for a few seconds, and then I'm going to keep going. All right, so now I'm going to make a line plot for the distributions of birth weights. So I'm going to go and let's see, I have 3.3. So 3.3 would be here. 3.6, 3.5, 3.4, 3.7, 3.4 again, 3.5, 3.2, 3.6, 3.4. 3 3.6, 3.5, 3.7, 3.5, 3.8, 3.5, 3.6, 3.3, and 3.5 again. All right, and now I'm supposed to do one for the mother's ages. So let's see if I can squeeze that all in here. So 28, 31, 
33, 35, 39, 30, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, oops, 33, not that one, 29, um, 31, 29 again, 34, 30, 32, 30, 29, and 28. Okay, so I don't think there was one, oh, there was one at 35. Okay, so now let's answer those questions because you've got data that looks very different on all three of those. So it says, describe the shape of the, of the distribution of birth months. And this looks like it basically has kind of, it looks like a rectangle. So you could write down literally that it looks like a rectangle. Um, and it's fairly level. It's evenly distributed. So level, evenly distributed. This one here looks like it has kind of a big mound in the middle, so it's kind of concentrated to the middle, but it also is, there's some kind of symmetry in it. So I would say mounded in middle and symmetric. And then the shape of the mother's ages. So this one here looks like it's kind of like it's mounded here, but it kind of flattens out at some point. So um, I would say that's something what we call asymmetric and it trails off more to the right. Alexa, shut off alarm. All right, that is where I'm going to stop on this one and you can go ahead and watch the next video.